Hi there, Jeff here from the Wetsuit Centre talking to you today about the Billabong Solution Zero. Bit of a preview into a suit which is due out later this year, uh, winter 2011 into 2012. So I'm just going to talk you through the sort of key selling points of this suit, uh, what the suit's all about and uh, when it's due out basically. Uh, give you a bit of an insight into what Billabong are doing for next winter. Uh, got a bit of a bonus to this uh, today, we've got a Billabong team rider which is Gordon Fontaine. Yeah. Rides for Billabong, so he's uh, well placed to sort of comment on the suit, how it feels, and what he thinks the sort of main points and main features and benefits of, of its are. Uh, first off, what we do is just show you some of the ins and outs of the going on in the inside of the suit, and then one of the key sort of benefits of the suit lies around the sort of entry system. So we'll show Gordon putting it on, and uh, sort of how easy it is, and what's going on around the sort of chest zip system. Inside the suit. Uh, you can see the sort of colour here, this is the style of neoprene which uh, Billabong are using throughout the suit, which is one of the key selling benefits of the suit, or one of the key points of this suit. Uh, the neoprene is what we call Yamamoto neoprene, which is uh, sort of comes out of Japan. Uh, the benefits of this uh, neoprene is it's really, really, really soft and flexible. It's hard to sort of get that across on the camera, but uh, it's extremely sort of flexible and really soft to the touch. This is actually the neoprene that all of the uh, triathletes use in their suits, so um, you can imagine uh, how flexible and comfortable that's going to be. Um, how does that feel? It feels very nice, it's really comfortable and really flexible, so yeah. Compared to sort of normal? Um, it's more, fle it's, it feels more, it feels, it feels even lighter than the the previous Billabong wetsuit that they've done and it's really really comfortable as well and really flexible so it's really it's a really good wetsuit really. It's really good things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah so that's the actual neoprene they're using. The principal selling benefit of this uh, neoprene obviously the fact that it's flexible and soft but it's very very light. Um, so that's the sort of angle Billabong are going for for this year, which they did last year with the XGX SGX, but this year they've sort of pushed it further to really sort of uh, hopefully pioneer sort of different neoprene, which is going to be much lighter, um, which is always going to be a benefit when you're surfing. Um, on the front of the suit here, you can see the PolyPro. You've got the usual sort of like fleecy thermal lining uh, that runs the whole way through the suit this year, right down to the knees. Right down there. there. Yeah, right down to the bottom there. So that's going to keep you super warm right throughout the suit. Retain heat inside the suit. So as it leaves your body, rather than being lost through the neoprene, it's retained inside the suit, which is going to keep you really warm. Usual features as well. You've got like some liquid taping. They strategically place it so they don't overdo it. Uh, the idea of that basically is you have more flex in the suit, and they just tape the real critical areas like around the chest panel and stuff like that, where you need to make sure the suit's sealed. Uh, and then a bit of taping on there as well, just to make sure the suit's durable and it's going to have a long shelf life. Usual features, you've got a bit of like the uh, rubber on the inside of the cuff here just to make sure that uh, it doesn't ride up your arm or anything like that. But something that's different for this year, which a lot of the manufacturers are doing, but Billabong have also done a really nice little feature, they just close in the seams around the cuff. That creates a really fat, flat seam basically around the cuff so that when you put in gloves and stuff over the top, it um, basically creates a nicer join between uh, the glove and the suit and also stops water coming in through as well because it just close off the area there. Okay, um, usual knee pads, you've got the Duraflex knee pads. Uh, one thing that Billy Wong do as well, they make them ergonomically designed, so they're slightly puffed out so that the knee fits in nicely. Uh, it's really, really comfortable. And on the outside of the suit, right the whole way through the whole suit, they've got the liquid taping, but it's very, very thin, so again, they're sort of maximising flexibility in the suit and making sure your movement isn't restricted in any way. Okay, so if you want to pull the suit up, go yep. Top. Chest sit system, uh, they've, lent, uh, they've gone towards this year. Um, obviously the benefits of a chest system, which means you don't need a zip on the back. Uh, so no zip on the back means more flexibility in the back of the suit. Uh, it creates a better seal around your neck, which means that uh, less water is going to get through. And also it uh, tends to be a bit more comfortable. Harder to get in and out of, but as you can see, it's not really that much of a problem. We brought it in. Expert getting in and out of wet seats. <laughs> okay, so um, what we've got, the chest zip is slightly unique this year. Some people have created this... Um, uh, system which is going to be really good at keeping water out of the suit. Your usual sort of chest zip, you've just got um, the actual inside of the suit just comes up to the collar uh, basically and it hasn't really got a great sort of, it's not really that effective in terms of water that flushes through your neck, it's still going to come into the suit. So what Billabong have done is they've actually created a bit of a chest zip system within the suit underneath the chest zip. So it's quite cool, you've got a little flap at the back here which has got a head hole in it. Pull that over, nice and easy. And what that does is actually clips onto the front here there. Up. Up and over. Pops in. There you go. Okay. And uh, that basically means that you've almost got a chest zip under the chest zip. So you can imagine what that's going to do in terms of keeping water out of the wetsuit. 
keeping you warm. And keeping you warm, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got a bit of smooth skin on the outside there, which is going to create a seal against the underside of the chest zip to really make sure that no water gets through there at all. So, uh, yeah, they've really gone all out to make sure that, you know, the suit's completely sealed. Can you pull that back over? So how does that compare to sort of last year's Pilbong suit? Um, so far it's pretty similar except for that for that bit that keeps you really warm and mm -hmm. you feel like you feel like you're gonna be really a lot warmer when you go in the water and stuff. Um, yeah, there's that new feature though on the wetsuit, uh, which is a bit different than the previous years. Basically, the previous year the zip started from there, and what that did if you could you could lock it from here, but sometimes it kind of unlocked already, like when you're in the water. So okay, like what that does. to get through. Oh, there you go. Like you can't, I can't unlock from here, like from there. So yeah, it's that's a nice good. Yeah. Just touch there as well. One thing they've done as well, they've brought a V down onto the chest here, on the suit, which gives like a four-way stretch property across the cuff, across the collar, so that it pulls downwards, not just sideways as well. So yeah, got a little there. drain hole as well there. So any water that does get in the suit yeah. gets drained straight out. One thing we notice as well with the suit is the actual smooth skin on the um, the uh, the suit itself. It seems to be a lot lighter and more flexible, so it's a new material they're using on the smooth skin. Because uh, a lot of smooth skin before, because it's kind of very thick by the nature of the sort of material, doesn't sort of flex and move very much. Whereas this suit, the really lightweight smooth yeah, it's skin, it's really, really light and really flexible. It's yeah. pretty amazing. A lot more comfortable. Stuff, yeah. yeah. So you flip you around, Gordon? Yep. And uh, you've got like the liquid taping running in the back of the suit. You've got more drain holes in case any water gets in. Uh, you've got minimal panels running through the suit. Any seams on the suit are strategically placed to give loads of flex. So you can see the V coming down there and up here. It's just going to mean that when you're leaning forward and pulling back, that it's really not going to restrict your movement in any way. Uh, and uh, yeah, you've got more of that liquid taping running across the suit. So, as I said before, it's all about flexibility. The suit itself is probably one of the lightest suits I've ever sort of lifted or tried on. Um, but um, Broadway will be able to tell you what that means in terms of surfing more than I will. Yeah, well, the basically what that does is when you're surfing in the winter, you feel like you could be surfing in the summer. It could be like a summer wetsuit, and it's a lot easier. Like in the winter, when you when you're wearing a five four three plus boots and gloves and hoodie, um, it's kind of difficult to surf as good as you would do in a summer suit and in the summer. So that the light lightness of the of the wetsuit and the flexibility like, really reminds me of a summer suit and. It's really, yeah, it's a bit, it's, I don't know, I haven't tried it in the water yet, but... Uh, He's not allowed yet. It's a bit of a promo suit, so <laughs> you'll get yours in yeah, time. But yeah, <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get it soon, and I can't wait, because uh, it's probably going to be really, really amazing. Yeah, it does seem like a really warm and really well put together suit. They've put a lot of thought into the suit, into the cut of the suit, the materials they're using, but the main thing is the quality of the neoprene and how light it is. It's a real sort of, a real push forward. Uh, for wetsuits, for winter wetsuits, hopefully. The only other thing I noticed as well is around the collar, we've got a bit of a dip in the collar there, basically, yeah. which just uh, doesn't sort of like dig into your throat. Just a nice little touch, and then again, they pull in the yeah. seams on the collar, make them nice and flat to create a really good seam and seal against your neck so that um, you're not going to sort of get any flush throughs and it's going to be really comfortable. Uh, but essentially, that's everything going on on the Billabong Solution Zero. And, that's a key uh, thing. Oh, a key pocket, don't forget yeah. about that. Uh, and so, um, yeah, Gordo is looking to tr forward to trying it out. I'm going to be looking forward to trying it out as well uh, for winter season. But it's due out probably about um, August time. We expect to get the suit in. Uh, but we'll obviously keep you posted on our website. Uh, but that's the Billabong Solution Zero for 2011-2012. One thing we thought would be useful is to show um, how easy it is to get out of this wetsuit. Uh, so Gordon was just going to sort of demonstrate uh, actually how to get out of the wetsuit nice and easily because some people do struggle, especially with the chest zips. So I uh, just sort of show you, talk you through taking the wetsuit off, really. Yeah, well basically you just take the, the first zip off, undo that bit. Um, yeah, it's a lot easier than the previous wetsuits and all the wetsuits that I've tried before to take that bit off and. This is really, really flexible, as you can see there. So it's this is really easy to take off, and after that, it just slides off like really easily. Like compared to the other, the ones that I've tried before, usually you kind of struggle a little bit, and still, I like, still struggle a little bit to like take that bit off, and that just comes off straight away. It's quite, it's quite nice. Won't so, go any yeah. further than that. Um, but yeah, so nice and easy to get off as well. That's the Billabong uh, Solution Zero for 2011.